What is shaking guys Shane here Shane's retro games and I have another pile of non-working Pokemon games to play with today so I've actually been sitting on these for a little while because I feel like I've done a lot of Pokemon games especially Game Boy games in the past but this is what I have to work on for the moment so I have my trusty Game Boy Advance to test these guys out so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the Game Boy Advance games first and then if we have time get to the Game Boy games but all of these I picked up on eBay every listing said that they did not work uh, wouldn't load so let's crack into them see what we can do so let's start with these guys so I got two copies each Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Ruby which is very cool because if I can get them all working then I can keep a copy because I don't have them and I can sell a copy which will be beautiful all right let's test these guys out see what happens ah first off Cases are rough. All right. Well, there's one issue. <laughs> All right, we got the garbled logo. Let's see if we can get a little something more out of that. Now we got nothing. All right. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Went from a garbled logo to... Working. Hmm. And it looks like it has a save on there. We'll still crack it open. Check it out. All right, cool. <laughs> Just check the next one. This case looks a little bit better. Um, nothing there. I know, you're not supposed to blow into the cartridges, but whatever. All right, so this one's not registering a game at all. So you can use that, that logo on the bottom to determine what the issue may be. So if no Nintendo logo shows up, it's not registering a game. Come on, camera. If no Nintendo logo shows up, it's not registering a game at all. If it's just garbled or a little messed up, then it's reading it, but it just can't boot it. <laughs> Again. Not supposed to blow into the cartridge, and once again we have a game loading. Hmm. Interesting. All right, this one has no battery, so that'll be that'll be easy. Um, I'm gonna guess it needs to be cleaned up pretty good. Last test here. This is another one that has, this one's pretty rough. Guess we got nothing there. And now we have something. So these games might just be dirty with dead batteries. Our goal will be to get them to play consistently. Yeah, dead battery. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through. Uh, I'm going to clean them. There's clearly something registering there. So I'm going to clean them and change out the batteries and see if that's our issue. If there's anything more, we'll go from there. Alright. 
Game Boy Advance games have tri-wing bits. Because why would Nintendo keep things consistent? Hmm. Critter just fell out of here. That's cute. Sorry, little critter. Pins aren't terrible. Battery will probably need to be replaced. Battery reading looks okay. So, let's just, uh, What I'll do is I'll just take some Bright Boy to those pins, clean the inside of that case, and go from there. Interesting that we don't get a consistent read on the game. So I think what I'm going to do is even though I know the game works, I'm going to reflow those pins. Which is tricky. If you notice, the battery's on top of one of the chips that I'm gonna need to reflow. So I gotta remove the battery first. Pins are reflowed on that side nice and shiny. That is what we we're trying to do, just get this solder looking good and shiny again, making sure there's a good contact between the chip and the board. So let's do the same for the other side. go. Load it up for a shot. Beautiful. Get that battery reinstalled. We got one down. We got the battery in there. Everything is loading up the way it should. It's firing up right away. So I'm just going to go through and do the same exact thing for the other three. I don't know how that save file is on there, but I won't knock it. All right, one more to go. So 
So this one here looks like there's some come on camera. Looks like there's some corrosion around that battery pad. And it does look like there's flux all over this board. So I'm gonna give this board a really good clean and then try putting a new battery on there. Or maybe replacing the old battery, because this one still has the voltage, but let me let me give that a whirl. So even after putting in a brand new battery, this one is still saying that the battery has run dry and I tested the other battery and it's completely fine. So I think there's something wrong with the, the battery pad on this. Don't really have time to look into that further. So for right now, it works, you can still play it. So I'm just gonna move forward. All right, on to these three. So, start with blue. Uh, I believe I showed this off the last time I did some Pokemon Game Boy games. So let's take a look in here. Ooh. I see corrosion. Come to think of it, I didn't test this. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, you can see that. That looks unpleasant. There's all types of corrosion inside there. Okay. logo willing to bet anything that better is dead 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 There's a few spots on this one where, on the board, it looks like it might not be making connection elsewhere. A few spots where we might have breaks down along this line here. Not going to work on that today. We're just going to put this one aside for now and move on to the next one.
right, gang, there we have it. Semi-successful day, I will say. Um, so these four here are definitely working. Um, so all of these, except for one of these Pokemon Sapphires, will be available in the shop if you're interested. I'm thinking I might put a new sticker on that one and this one, if I can get it working. Uh, let me know what you think. Should I put a new sticker on it, or should I just leave it as is, since that is the original sticker? I think it would look better if it had a new one on it. Let me know what you think. So, this guy here. I do think there is something wrong with the battery pads. Um, I'll take a further look into it later. It's a brand new battery, and it still says that it has no juice in it, but um, works otherwise. I just want to make sure that I can get that battery working. And both of these sort of loading up, but uh, it still have the garbled Nintendo logo. Both of them had areas just above the pins that look like there might be breaks in those traces. Um, just don't have the time to, to sit and fiddle with that today and figure it out. So these will be worked on another day. I actually have a pile of, of games that I haven't been able to fix yet. I uh, haven't given up hope on them, but these are going to go into that pile for another day. So, there you have it. Four working, three, not quite, but either way, happy to get at least these guys working. So, if you like this video, please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Thank you.